people coming. Uh, this is one I'm going to be doing uh, over the summer for a work placement. Um, after careful consideration, I uh, chose to get into the area of marketing. But um, what uh, struck me was the uh, many different areas of marketing which I didn't realize there were. Um, and because I'll just be starting out in marketing, the uh, normal thing is for everyone to dabble in a bit of each area and to specialize in one area. Um, the first area is the common one of market research, uh, which is pretty much going directly to the customers and stuff like that uh, to see whether they like the products, dislike the service, uh, whatever um, area your company that you work for does. Uh, a relatively new one, uh, communication, um, is, uh, well, it's very close with two other ones, uh, advertising and uh, public relation. Uh, this used to be uh, a lot to do with printing, uh, like leaflets and stuff like that, but due to the uh, popularity of social network, it's uh, now a pretty big part of the marketing industry. Uh, brand management is again taking care of the brand uh, image company product and make sure that it's being um, advertised in the right way to get the message across. Uh, direct marketing, which is not what I'm a big fan of. Uh, we've all been out in town and had people try to bother us. And, uh, but yeah, that's direct marketing, actually going out into the field and talking to customers and trying to attract potential new customers. Uh, the one I'm interested in is advertising. Um, you normally work with a third party company with this who does the advertising, whether it be um, TV advertisement or uh, radio or whatever form of advertisement you decide to go in. But again, similar with brand management, it needs, you need to work together with that to make sure that uh, the message is coming across correctly. Uh, public relations, uh, pretty much this is again working together with brand management, this is to protect your product and own the company um, and communicate any problems or designs in order to achieve the company's goal and once these are pretty much your main uh, areas but once you've uh, specialised in one area you can go into uh, strategic marketing which is um, a mainly a senior role which is one I would hope to go for in the future. Um, some of the uh, uh, skill requirements that I've uh, come across, uh, you don't really need a degree or any relevant qualifications to get your foot into marketing or advertising. However, to get to the senior roles, 52% have a level 4 uh, or higher qualification, which is what I'm working at at the moment, so I think that's, uh, that's been covered already. Um, advertising agency demand creativity from everybody. Uh, that might be a bit of a, a skill gap for me, because I don't know whether, whether I'm relatively creative, so whatever work placement I get into, uh, that could be my project that I go into trying to uh, unleash my creative side. And uh, you normally begin by uh, undertaking low paid or unpaid placements, which is what I'm hoping to be uh, going to do over the summer. Um, yeah, uh, the recently creative and uh, IT are difficult. Um, positions to get into due to the fact that not many people who already um, work in advertisement due to the fact of social media and uh, all the new gadgets and gizmos that um, people are not too familiar, it's a very specialist area. Um, and these are the uh, three uh, skill gaps uh, that they're missing at the moment, IT skills, uh, strong sales skills and management skills. Uh, I'm in a degree for uh, business and management, so and I'm 
I would say I'm pretty okay with my IT skills. So I think I would cover at least two of the three um, skill gaps there. And in the future, communication planning, organize logistics, which I've uh, done in previous employment, uh, management and leadership are going to be future skills that they will be uh, required for uh, marketing and advertising. Uh, oh, that was supposed to move. Uh, some of the areas that I was um, looking into going into is uh, my brother-in-law works in um, Australia in a foreign marketing company. So I was looking to hopefully get a position with him and get gain some knowledge. It'd be a different uh, atmosphere, obviously being in an, another country. Uh, however, looking um, when I was looking for, because you need to apply for visas, and that it works out quite costly with some of the costs up here. Uh, my brother-in-law would have to sponsor me, uh, which would be 420 uh, Australian dollars. Um, I would have to pay 170 nomination charges to nominate him, and the visa application uh, charges 315 US dollars, um, which is all pretty well, but this isn't guaranteed that you're going to get the uh, visa. And if you're unfortunate that you're not going to get uh, accepted for the work placement visa, all this is not refundable. So I think it's a bit of a, a risky um, area to try at the moment anyway. Um, my other area is staying up north. Uh, <laughs> um, I've already, um, sorry. Uh, up north, uh, in the marketing, I would either stay in the north of Burnley, Manchester area, or go to Yorkshire, particularly Leeds, which I've been looking into, which is a good thing living in Burnley because you've got great access to many areas, Manchester, Leeds, Blackpool, uh, Preston. Um, and at the moment, in the nor uh, northwest, there's a uh, hundred and... 5,480 people working in the advertising sector at the moment, uh, which is uh, nearly 59,500 in the northwest, uh, maybe 45,000 in, in Yorkshire, which compared to my next one is quite low. But um, a good majority of these, 74%, are working uh, self employed. Self employment is not one area that I really want to go down, well, not at the moment anyway, and, um, but it may, might be possible in the future. And a lot of this, uh, majority are working in the arts and music industry, which again is not really my area that I would get into, but uh, talking to some people uh, here at UCLan, I do have a possible position already available to me over the summer. Uh, whether I take it or not, um, that's entirely up to me. But uh, I'll probably call this Plan B. But that, <coughs> I know that going down to the city of London, um, where there is uh, over <coughs> 150,000 people working in the uh, in the sector, um, with 21,600 creative businesses. But how, uh, a lot of these are, again, uh, self-employed, which I've figured out that marketing people are, do work for freelance and don't work for um, a big company, which is what I would hopefully look to get into because uh, most major companies are based in London, but it's their headquarters, which is where I would like, like to go. Um, this, is, this uh, area is, uh, attracts me more than the other two for the simple fact that you do have the 21,000 businesses, uh, though you do have a lot more people in London, so you're going to be um, fighting that a bit harder to get the position. And uh, my family is also in uh, the city of London, so over the summer I can kill two birds with one stone, so spend a month or two down there. Uh, see the kids and do this work placement at the same time, which is the main reason that attracts me to uh, attempt to get a uh, position down in the city of London. Uh,
spoken a bit tonight, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> not the right question, is it? Um, what, um, you know, sort of, did you not sort of think of maybe um, looking at offshoots of, say, marketing, you know, sort of maybe working more in the, in the, in the, in the media side, which is like, well, the, the, the area that I um, did a majority of my research was the advertising side, which uh, does include a lot of the media. I have looked at some uh, media companies, uh, Sky in particular, who I have applied for and yet to hear back from. But if, if they hear back from me, that's one of the major media companies well, you've done it, you've already, you know, in, in Europe. So I have been <laughs> looking into that uh, sector as well as other uh, individual sectors. I think the only issue I might have is that due to a lot are self-employed, then they might be unwilling or just working freelance and they don't want other people there. So it's just looking into the options, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Could I ask you how you're going to then prepare and what, what your decision is? Oh, oh my, my decision is to uh, go to the uh, City of London. Uh, I have uh, applied for, I believe, about 10 to 15 uh, positions in London, um, and yet to hear back from any of them. Uh, however, I'm f after the uh, exam in May, I'm gonna physically go down to London myself for, say, a month or so, and go into, uh, just into companies and see if, if they will be willing to take me. Because I think that companies um, are more willing to take you on if they see you by face. I mean, they, they, just because I've emailed my CV to 10 companies doesn't mean that they've read them. So if I go down and physically uh, knock on their door, then whether they talk to me or not is down to them. But at least I've tried. Mm -hmm. Did you look into whether any of them offered work placements? They do somewhere? offer work placements. Yeah. Uh, Sky does, definitely. And due to previous uh, assignments, I, yeah. I, I would say I'm quite knowledgeable on Sky at the moment. I don't know how long it stays there, I'm not too sure, but it is a company that does interest me in getting into. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.